Hello everybody, I'm here with uh, Danielle from our missions ministry and we just wanted to share some things that are going on and some things that are happening. Yes, we're in the midst of a pandemic that just doesn't end, but that doesn't mean that the gospel doesn't end and it needs to go to the ends of the earth. And so here we are. Danielle, we've had some uh, setbacks here and there. Also, we've had some great things and I know that our coffee club members have just been Step up to the plate still, and uh, maybe stepping up to the cup. Stepping up to the cup. So, so tell us some things. What's 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 going on for Coffee Club, and what's that all about? And and, and maybe someone wants to to jump in and be a part of it. Perfect. So first thing I want to say is to all of our 2020 Coffee Club members that are out there, um, thank you so much. We have had an opportunity to be able to serve you for a few weeks when we were back in uh, the building here and that was awesome to be able to see your smiling faces again and hold a hot cup of coffee with you guys but as you know we're, we're not there now but for all of you who are out there listening these coffee club members have been faithful they joined our coffee club in january of this year that's a $20 a month commitment to the A18 Mission Grounds and all of the funds for that go to supporting our mission ministry. Not just some of the events and things that had to have been postponed this year that we'll be talking about that are coming next year, but more importantly, they go to provide a financial sponsorship for each one of the missionaries that we've agreed to support over the years. So we are so thankful for those individuals. We do it under the premise of a great cup of coffee because we love that, but it's really all about the heart and wanting to serve and help other people. So that's where all you guys come in. 2020 Coffee Club members, I'm gonna be calling you. I'm hoping that you're gonna to wanna to read up for 2021. And for those of you guys who are out there listening to this, who love coffee, whether you're actually gonna drink it with me or not in person, which we hope that we will, uh, what you can do is you can just text coffee to the number that's on the screen and Jim and the folks here will get you connected with me and we'll make sure that we have you signed up for our coffee club for 2021. Sounds great. Yeah. And what kind of things are used with the coffee club money? What, what's, what, what do you do? So what do we do with the coffee club money? So there's missionaries that we support. If you go out to our website and you click on A18 Mission Ministry, you will find a bio for all of the different ministries that we yeah. support. So we provide monthly financial support for them. Other things that we do, we go on mission builds, generally with Casas por Cristo, which we're excited about new plans for 2021. We talk about lifeline meal packing. We do things like with the emergency shelter services and the Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner and the adopt the shelter program that we're gonna be doing. Um, these are just ideas that we have right now. We have new ideas. We have new needs right here in our own community and to the ends of the earth. So if you're out there watching, and you wanna get plugged in with a great cup of coffee and you have an idea for some sort of a local or whatever foreign mission trip, come talk to me. We're always interested and excited to hear about new ideas, a new way to go out and share the gospel and the love over a great cup of coffee. Great, you know, you mentioned about a mission build and we had plans to go build uh, here, not too long from this point right now. Correct. So what's going on with that? What's, what, what's happening with uh, Costas Por Cristo and the missions build? So um, Costas Por Cristo is still out there building houses every day, guys. Um, Justin Kirkland is the missionary that we support there and we love him and his family dearly and we love their heart and all the hearts of the missionaries there at Casas. So they're out there serving and supporting and building every day. A lot of churches like us haven't been able to do the build because of COVID and Casas has had to pivot in that time and figure out how am I going to do that and they're mobilizing mm -hmm. local troops and they're doing whatever they can to go out there and still continue to build and that's where we come in. We have been really excited about wanting to go to Nicaragua for quite some time, right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, there's a lot of craziness happening in Nicaragua right now and a lot of need for prayer for them just you know from a hurricane perspective like Jim and I were just talking about they've been hit already twice potentially another one coming in but just given foreign travel right now, we just don't feel like that's the right place for us to go in 2021. However, uh, for all of you guys who know me at all and those who are watching online who don't know me at all, um, <laughs> I got bit by that mission bug years ago when Justin Kirkland asked me just to say yes and go on a mission trip and I am dying, I'm ready to get back out there. 
So we talked to Justin and he made a recommendation that we actually fly stateside. So we're going to be flying uh, into Texas, into El Paso, and then we will be building right across the border over in Juarez. So we've picked some dates. It's going to be April 7th through 11th of 2021. Um, no telling what may or may not be going on with school during that time, but if you happen to be in our school district, I believe that's over your spring break. So that gives a great opportunity yeah. for you know some of those folks to join us as well. That's fantastic. So where can we find out the information or if we're interested in going to build in Juarez with you? Okay. What's how do we head out to the website? That's the first place you should go. Go out to the website. You can go to A18 Mission Ministry or you can go to events. It's going to bring you to the same place, same information regardless. You'll see everything that you need out there. There's basically three ways you can go out there and serve. It's going to be a smaller group this year. We do have a limitation of 15 people. So we're going to bring 15 people with us. Um, you know, we're praying about that. If it's on your heart and you want to join, please give me a call. Talk to me about it. Um, if we don't get 15 people, will we still build? Yes, yeah. we will still build. So again, that's where the team at CASA is saying, Danielle, if you have one, you have two, you have five, you have 15, we'll build, we'll support with the rest of uh, the team members that we need locally, as long as we, as a church, can still commit to supporting the board, uh, um, the build, and all the missionaries that go. And, Again, that's part of what, what A18 Mission Ministry is about and what our donations are about here so we can go in and continue to build and serve. Um, if you can't join the build, if you don't want to travel, if you don't feel comfortable in doing that, there's two other ways you can serve. They're out there on the website as well. You can be a financial sponsor or you can join our prayer team because Lord knows we need to be covered in prayer right now and especially Absolutely. you know, thinking about the families we're going to be building for, who is going to be traveling for the build. Um, so we need those prayer warriors out there as well. So all three ways to serve, you can find the information right there on the website. That's great. I'm very excited about that opportunity and that we can continue to take the gospel even in this uh, time of, of, of our lives. One last thing I want to ask you about because I've had a couple people say something to me. We were supposed to do a meal packing event with Lifeline Ministries. What, anything in the future with Lifeline and meal packing? Absolutely. So, um, yes, we were, we had to cancel our 2020 meal packing. Um, it was, it was heartbreaking because there's a lot of you who go out there and support that. That's a huge event for us and something that we love getting together to be able to serve here locally at the church and provide things that go to the ends of the earth, right, as they push the meals out. Um, we are working with Lifeline to create another meal packing event in 2021. I don't have a date confirmed right now, but for those of you who enjoy that, who will love that experience, just know that it's out there and it's coming. And when we come back here and we talk to you about it, just be ready to join in and be ready to come in and serve. Fantastic. So it's been great uh, to have you here uh, to share all this information with us. And uh, we're just excited to what God can do even in this chaos that we're experiencing. But, but thanks for all your work and for uh, uh, bringing this information to us and, and helping us to, to take it to the next level. Absolutely, that's what we're here for. Let's just go serve others, share our love. Thank you guys.